Well, good morning or afternoon. It depends on where you are, of course. Welcome to the live stream. It is a really a crappy Sunday here in South Texas. Uh, we got to do the, uh, the weather down here as usual. It is cloudy, overcast, rainy, and it is about 78 degrees, something like that down here. And I have to say, it's pretty cold. Let's, uh, let's uh, take a look uh, outside. I'll show you what it looks like here because, you know, palm trees look good. Jeep looks good sitting out there. Uh, but the sky, not so, not so friendly today. Anyway, welcome to the live stream. Appreciate you being here. Hope everybody is having a fantastic weekend so far. Mine's been pretty good. Been doing uh, a couple of things on the, uh, where is it? Right, right back there on the Tacoma back there. Got something new coming uh, on a different channel. Uh, you guys kind of guessed what that was last time you were on here. So that's pretty cool. Uh, if you're just joining, don't forget, click that subscribe button. Don't forget a big thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Um, do I miss the old Tacoma, the third gen? You know, I've had a few third generation Tacomas in my time. I've got a mental problem, I think. You know, it, a third gen is a third gen, right? But I often found that a third gen is not always a third gen. Because Toyota, you see, they're kind of smart. They put out different trim levels for people like me, right? Because I had a pre-runner once. I had an SR, SR5, TRD Off-Road, TRD Sport. I think the only versions I've not had are the TRD Pro, which I most likely would never get because it's a finished truck, right? I mean, I want to be able to do mods and things to it. So why buy a finished truck? and uh, the Limited. I've also had the Access Cab. I would have bought a, which I really wish Toyota still made, I would have bought a single cab. You know, two doors, one on each side, maybe some storage space behind the seats, maybe not, who cares? I really dig the single cabs, but unfortunately, you can't get one anymore. Although Toyota's gotten a little closer recently, and that they put out uh, the excess cab with no rear doors, which sucks, uh, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people agree with that. I don't know why they did away with them. Now you kind of have to push the seat forward and kind of reach around. That's right. Reach around uh, to the back uh, to be able to access anything. So kind of a bummer that they did that. I wish they wouldn't have. Uh, you know, I had an access cab once, and I've got to say, it's pretty much useless for passengers. They had those kind of uh, side seats or airplane seats, whatever they're called, that fold down on the sides. They were basically like two sheets of plywood on each side, straight up and down, horribly uncomfortable. Uh, but nonetheless, I love the look of that truck. And I think that truck lifted probably one of the best Tacomas you can get out there, right? Ellery Bice, I've, let's see, I saw your green Tacoma two days past, headed west on I-90, Three Forks, Montana. Uh, no, I don't think that was mine, although I can't say for sure, and I don't know if you're being serious or not, but it, let's assume, let's make an assumption here for just a minute that you are being serious. How did you know it was my truck? What would have identified it to you? And be honest, or maybe you're just kidding. I don't know. That's the one thing about uh, being on the internet. You can't tell whether someone's kidding or not. Sorry, live stream, apologize for that. Looked like I lost uh, connectivity for a minute. I don't know. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. We'll see. Uh, but it appears that we're back on right now. So if you stuck around, I appreciate it. And let me know uh, if this is coming through for you. It seems to be now. I don't know what happened. Uh, sometimes down here in South Texas, we have those problems. Uh, let's see. Do you ever get mud on your trucks? Uh, sometimes I do. Sometimes there's mud on the roads and you can't help but drive through it. So they get on your truck. I don't know what the issue is. 
Uh, Fedora 4, Rob, why did you not go to premium TRD Sport? Uh, because I wanted one that had enough stuff on it to make me happy uh, as far as options and things like that, but I didn't want a truck that was more finished. In other words, I want to be able to add things myself. So it's kind of like why I never go with the TRD Pro because the TRD Pro is a finished truck and I don't really want a finished truck. So, you know, I really uh, want something a little bit simpler. Do Alex, yes or no? Do you miss it? You know you do. I'm going to get to that in just a minute. We get a few more people on here. I know I had a decent amount of people, and then my damn internet went down because it sucks, apparently. Uh, Chad Kronatz. Hey, Chad, what's up, buddy? Hey, Rob, what's up? I hope all is well. All is fantastic. I hope you're doing well. Ellery buys. It was a green. They are scarce in numbers. We're going to have to leave as a maybe. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it was my truck in Montana. It was sold to somebody here locally in South Texas. Doesn't mean they didn't take a trip. Could have been. Um, let's see. Uh, Chad Cronaut says, I have the circle of death. Thank you uh, for letting me know. I hope it's better now. Uh, it was the internet had a glitch. I don't know what that was about, but it seems to be okay now. Um... Let's see. By the way, if you're wondering why Chad is in green on the screen, it's because he is a channel member. And thank you for that, Chad. I really do appreciate it. If you want to check out what that is, just uh, click on that join thing somewhere on the screen. Uh, Mike Mikado, thumbs up. Do Alex. All right. Ride more now. Is there as much room in the back with the seat folded down as your third gen? Uh, yeah, I would say with the seat folded down, matter of fact, I would say the back seat area of the new Tacoma is probably very equivalent to the back seat room of the third gen Tacoma. Um, they didn't really do much back there. All they really did, I think, in the interior, it might have made it a little bit wider, I don't know, but they raised the roof. Uh, they put a hat on it. Uh, gave us about yay much more room, which makes a huge difference. I mean, it really does in the truck. Uh, Chad Cronauts, finally fixed the internet. Yes, yes. Um, can't get through, I know. Nick K, good morning. Rob, nice to see you live again. Nick from Chicago. How you doing in Chicago? Where's everybody from, by the way, that's on here? I'd be curious. I'm from deep south Texas, Brownsville, Texas area. Maybe you've heard of Brownsville, Texas. Um, almost to Mexico. I'm about 30 minutes away from Mexico where I am, so... Uh, Robert Hannaford, no turn signals in the side mirrors, another Toyota going cheap. Uh, well, you know, they, they, I mean, I don't like that they took things away. Don't get me wrong. I don't like that. I don't like that. Now you got to spend more money on packages to get what seemed to be included before. Uh, but they did throw in other things. I mean, we've got this awesome engine. We've got this awesome transmission. I mean, those are expensive things, right? They cost a lot of money. So if Toyota would have kept everything as standard before, let's say, and then replaced the engine and the transmission and other things in the truck, the suspension, the brakes, everybody be complaining about this $100,000 Toyota Tacoma that we now are, are, have to buy or, or can buy. So, you know, now they've actually, they've kind of given us the choice. They gave us this base truck with all these extras on it. And if you want to pay, and this is what everybody's kind of asked for, isn't it? Sort of. If you want to pay for the extra stuff, well, then that's your choice. You can pick a package that has the extra junk on it, but you're still getting the engine, the transmission, the suspension, uh, the brakes, all this stuff that people said they wanted. I mean, did you really think it was going to be free? It's not going to be free. Toyota is a for-profit business. Don't, don't ever forget that. I mean, you know, so I don't know. G. Mercado Math Immaculata. Wow, that is a name. Uh, is the 2024 Tacoma better than the third gen? Uh, I'm going to get into that in, in just a second. Uh, I'll give you the short answer right now. Hell yes. Big Hutch. Hello, Rob. Hey, Mr. Hutch. How you doing? By the way, is it Hutch? It's probably not Hutch. It's probably Huck. Big Huck. Which way is it? I, I, I just realized I've probably been saying your name wrong for years because you've been around for a while. G Mercado from 
Puerto Rico. How are things in Puerto Rico? How's the weather there today? Uh, Mike Mikado, Modesto, California. Not too far, relatively, from where I am. Uh, Eddie Haskell's from New Hampshire. Cool. Uh, Bill W., awesome engine. It is an awesome engine. This, this setup, it's in the new Tacoma. I mean, you can't beat it, in my opinion. It is awesome. I love what they did with the truck. Um, <clears throat> I think it is way beyond what we had in the third generation. By the way, if you're just kicking in here, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Really helps me out. I would appreciate it. And uh, a thumbs up would be nice too. I mean, if you want to. More importantly is the subscribe button. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, let's see, Justin Stevenson, Idaho Falls, Idaho. We got, we got a lot of people in here from Idaho. Chad Cronauts, I'm a Georgia boy, I remember. Chad from Georgia. Uh, Charles Valet, Ontario, Canada. My wife is from Ontario, Canada. I met her when she lived in Toronto, but she's originally from Winnipeg. I guess it's cold and they get a little snow up in Winnipeg. I don't know, that's what they say. That's what she says. Uh, do Alex, uh, San Francisco. Awesome, awesome. Elizardo, hi Rob, happy Sunday from cold 46 degrees in New Jersey. How do you manage in climates like that? I mean, it's almost 80 degrees here and this is a cold day for me. You know, I'm not freezing to death. You can hear the fan in the background. So you know it's not that bad, but let me tell you, 70, below 80 degrees, really below 85 degrees anymore is cold. That's because you acclimate to wherever you're from. You know, people always, my wife, oh, we're such wimps now because she gets cold. If it's not 85 and humid outside, she's freezing. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Um, where was I? I've lost my spot. There we go. G Mercado. Weather is good, a little hot. Um, well, that's not too bad. What is a little hot to you in Puerto Rico? Uh, Fred Dorries, hello again from Champaign, Illinois, home of the Fighting Illini. You guys ever going to get a football team there? I mean, you know, being in the Big Ten, we need some competition. I'm, I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> Big Huck, Big Hutch, Big Hutch. Okay, I'm, I'm going with Big Hutch. That's what I've always said. Uh, where was I? Uh, first way you said it, you're the, you're the few that get it right. Well, it's because there's no T in it. It's kind of deceptive. You know, you think it's Hutch when you see it and you're like, well, there's no T in there. It must be Huck. Uh, but I got it right. So kudos to me. James Brace, North Dakota. Awesome. Uno, Rob, I hear you're going to go back to the dealer to get old line back. Well, you know, the new owner probably would have a problem with that. Uh, because I assume they, and I did speak with, did I speak with? I believe I spoke with the, uh, I did, the new owner. Um, so I don't think that's probably going to happen. I, I really don't. Now, do I miss the third gen, the electric lime Tacoma? Um, Uno, how you doing, Roberto? I'm doing good. How you doing? G. Marcato, it's 91 degrees in Puerto Rico. Well, that's a little warmer than it is here. And I imagine it's probably rather humid there. Am I wrong? So, the third gen Tacoma. First of all, let me say, there is nothing at all wrong with the third gen Tacoma, okay? I like the third gen. People always think when you go to something else, all of a sudden you develop this hatred for what you had before. I don't hate the third gen, man. It, uh, it is uh, perfectly fine. No issues with it, in my opinion. It was a fantastic truck. It's been fantastic over the years that I've had it, or had them, more than one, so there's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, when a manufacturer comes out with a new model, and I mean, be honest, don't we all hope that they really are going to improve it? I mean, isn't that the, the idea, that they're gonna make an improvement on the new model? I keep looking straight ahead. You guys probably wonder, why isn't he looking at me? I try, the camera's up here. I'm always looking here because I'm trying to read comments as I go, right? So that's, that's why you always see me staring straight ahead. But anyway, what's better then? What's better? You know, people talk about the options. Oh, it doesn't have this, it doesn't have that. How much do you use power seats? 
I mean, honestly, when you get in the truck, do you hit the power seats every time you get in or are you like me and you set it and forget it, right? It's like uh, the, one of those grills they used to advertise on TV. Set it and forget it or whatever it was. I don't know, that was their big tagline. I used it once and honestly, it was more in my way when I was doing things like installing the pedal commander. See that? There you go, that's a better shot. This is the new uh, pedal commander for the 2024 Tacoma. I do have it. Of course, as you can see, it's not installed yet, but it's gonna be. This thing is freaking awesome. I can't wait to get it in the truck. By the way, we'll turn it into a little commercial. If you're interested in the Pedal Commander, you can save 30 bucks. Just use discount code RobMotive1, the number one. It's that easy, uh, all in caps, at pedalcommander.com. It is gonna be going in, that's for sure. Um, so the third gen, this one, I mean the engine, it just feels stronger, faster, quicker. It's kind of like Steve Austin. Do you guys know, all right, I'm gonna date myself. Do you guys know, oops, my phone slipped. That's not good. I can't be dropping my fricking phone on the ground. You'll see a bunch of cracks go across the screen and hear a bunch of expletives if that happens. Do you guys know who Steve Austin is? I'm gonna date myself. Steve Austin, where does that name come from? And no, it's not the wrestler. It's not the wrestler. But it is so much freaking better. It feels stronger. It's faster. It has better acceleration. It's more comfortable. When you ride, it's kind of unfair to the middle sized truck market, to the other manufacturers out there, because I'm sure they're not like this. When you're cruising around in this freaking truck, it's like you're gliding. It's like you're smoothly riding along, you know? The bumps are smoother. The seats are softer. Even the sound of it. I actually saw somebody got on the internet. I don't know how people, Lee Majors. Do I, I just saw Lee Majors, you know, you know. Um, somebody got on the web and they posted their little quick review. It was in a five or six sentence puking out of what they thought, yes, of the new Tacoma. Uh, and they hated everything about it. And immediately when I hear somebody say that they hate everything about it, I start to think competitor. It's a competitor. That or jealousy. Maybe they're jealous. I don't know. But how the hell can you hate everything? I mean, you know, I try to look at this truck with an honest eye, right? I mean, you know if you watch my videos, if I find something I don't like, like the frickin' auto stop, I will tell you I don't like it. It's not like I get in this truck and go, oh, oh, auto stop is great. I'm so happy that Toyota added it to the truck. I am not. It is the scourge of the auto industry. I hate it. This truck has it because it's a two-wheel drive. That's right. It's two-wheel drive. The 4x4s, they don't have auto stop. It's not enough for me to sit here and say that, gee, I wish I'd have bought a 4x4 so I couldn't have auto stop. By the way, before I carry on, if you're just kicking in, we got 125 people in here. Click that subscribe button if you wouldn't mind. It doesn't cost you anything. It's real quick. And you're in, baby. You're in. That's all you got to do. Just pop that thing right now. Smash it. Hit it. Pop it. Subscribe. I would really appreciate it if you would. Um, and while you're at it, why not hit the thumbs up button? We got 19 thumbs up and 117 people in here now. Is this, this is like some kind of punishment. You know, you did something wrong. Go to Rob Motive's live stream and watch it. It's your punishment. And don't hit the thumbs up button because that wouldn't make any sense unless you're some kind of masochist or something. I don't know. There, there's probably a few of those in here. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, but anyway, is, is this better than the third gen? Do I miss the third gen? No, I don't miss the third gen at all. There hasn't been one instance where I've been driving around in this truck and thought, gee, I wish it had X that my third generation had. That has not happened once to me, not once. So do I miss having power seats? No. Do I miss not having a rear window back there? No, I never opened it anyway, ever. It's like sunroofs. I never used a sunroof. You know what sunroofs are good for, for people like me? They're good for sticking your camera to them so you can do 
videos while you're driving around. That's what I use the sunroofs for. I never opened them. I mean, I live in South Texas, right? Where it's like 350 degrees most of the time. Not right now. You, what are you going to open the sunroof for? So you can fry the top of your head and, and, and sweat to death in the cab? I'm not doing that. I don't need a sunroof, you know? Not to say that it's not important if you like it. I'm not going to dog anybody that, you know, that likes it. But come on, man. All right, we got we to gotta catch up on some comments here. And then we're going to get back to that third gen uh, in just a second. Uh, let's see. I've, lo I've lost my spot. Um, lots of comments coming through here. That Lee Majors one, I really like that. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. I think I'm almost there. Big Huck, I got, or Hutch. There I go. I screwed it up. James Brace from North Dakota. Uh, Roberto, 91 degrees in Puerto Rico today. There's your Puerto Rican forecast if you're interested. Absolute Sandman. Brownsville is only two miles from the Mexican border. Wow, very close. Yeah, it is. It's, it's very close. I mean, I don't live in Brownsville, but that's the closest city that most people might have uh, actually heard of. So, uh, Uno, my grandparents are from Yauco, Mr. Yauco, Mr. Mercado. So they're from Puerto Rico then. Awesome. Uh, the Red Hoods, Rob, uh, why don't you engine swap for an 8 in the 4th gen? There's no need, man. The only reason I would do an engine swap in the 4th gen to an 8-cylinder is if I wanted to support the gas companies more. Um, it's got plenty of power. You don't need it. Um, although more power is always good, right? Uh, uh, Adzi. Adzi, hey, Rob. Love your channel. Coming to you from uh, Pen Penticton. Penticton? Penticton. I'm going with Penticton. British Columbia. I have a Lime 2022 TRD Pro. Said you don't have yours anymore. Hope you're enjoying the fourth gen. I love the fourth gen. Uh, you've got a great color, though, in your truck, I must admit. Uh, the Red Hoods, V8. Uh, Jeff, Jeff. King Shocks or Fox? Um, I don't know. Whichever you like better. I think they're both decent shocks, so why not? Uno, Rob, if you could fit a V8 in your line, uh, would you want to trade it back with the new owner? No, no, I wouldn't do that. You know, it's, it's always nice to say, um, you know, put this bigger engine, put this different transmission, blah, blah, blah. But when you start messing with the guts of your truck, there's nothing but trouble. That V8 might run great for a day, and then tomorrow it's not marrying up so well with that transmission. Thought I saw something in here, a snake, maybe an alligator. Um, but anyway, there's always troubles when you do stuff like that. Hell, I changed carburetors many times on an old Camaro, and I, it never ran right, never. Brand new carburetors, rebuilt carburetors, old carburetor, never ran right. So when you start doing that, you just have trouble, you know? Um, where was I? Do Alex, how many miles did the Green Dragon have on it when you turned it in? It was less than, I think it was less than 3,000 miles, something like that. Uh, Do Alex again said Lee Majors. Yes, are you the only one? Are we the only two that know uh, what that was? Uh, the six, oh, wait a minute, somebody else. Duke Delton, the $6 million man. That's right, Steve Austin. We have the power to rebuild him faster, stronger. I don't know if it made him smarter than before. But anyway, and then we had, what was the woman's name? Do you remember her name? What was the woman's name that they turned into a bionic woman? The bionic woman. What was her name? Does anybody know? Uh, Yoder Gang. Still think the old 4.0 is better, especially with no muffler and rust on the body. The 4 liter, uh, I don't know if I ever had a 4 liter. The pre-runner that I had, the first Tacoma I ever had, it was a second gen. It might have been a 4 liter. I, man, I cannot remember. I doubt it, but I can't remember if it was or not. The Red Hoods, Rob Motive, are you a cat or dog person? I'm an animal person. I like cats, can't have them because I'm allergic to them. Um, cats, I love dogs too, probably equal to me. I just Cats are so cool because they are the closest thing you can get to a real cat, a big cat, and have in your house. And you know, uh, a house cat 
would hunt you down and eat you if it could. You're just too big for it, you know? So I think they're cool, man. Um, the most droopiest man on the block. Now, see there, we've got somebody posting garbage. Uh, so we got to remove that cat. I don't know why they get on and think it's that kind of a, a forum. You know, there's plenty of hate forums out there uh, that you can join and spew your garbage. This isn't one of them. I mean, you know, what are you, 10 years old? Uh, Manuel Vasquez, uh, Rob, the only thing I miss about the 21 Tundra is the space in the room. Yeah, the Tundra, you know, the double cab, crew max, cavernous inside. Love that about the truck. Hated the gas mileage. Didn't really like the size. You know, if I could have a Tacoma that was the same footprint, that had the same space inside as the Tundra, it would be awesome, right? I mean, that doesn't make a lot of sense, but um, that would be cool. But the Tundra, just so big. Love the truck, really do. My favorite was the cement uh, truck that I had. You'll know what that is if you've been following me for a while. Speaking of following me, if you haven't yet, I keep having to remind people, I know it gets repetitive, I'm, I apologize. But click that subscribe button if you would. I really would appreciate it. Again, it helps out the channel, show me a little bit of love, if you know what I'm saying. In a good way, a normal, I'm not gonna get into it. But anyway, if you wouldn't mind. Um, Uno says, your live is not a punishment, brother. <laughs> Well, it might be for some, I don't know, but thank you, I appreciate that. Jay, the thumbs up button is hidden for us. Well, that sucks. How's the subscribe button? Is that hidden? I mean, we've got 128 people on here. I'm sure not all of them are subscribed. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ride more now, sunroofs, uh, leaks in Oregon. That sucks. Nothing worse than having stuff drop on your head while you're driving around, you know? Especially for me, I keep my hair short. And no, I'm not bald. This isn't bald. This is a lifestyle choice. I keep my hair short because I'm freaking lazy and I don't want to screw with hair. Products, washing. I mean, I wash my head. Washing, uh, styling, barbershop. I do it myself. You know what I use? Anybody have any, you'll never guess what I use. I cut my hair myself. You'll never guess what I use to do it. You're probably gonna think it's rather amusing. I'm gonna tell you in just a minute. Go ahead and take a guess. Um, let's see, where was I? Uno says, Jay, the three dots, here, this is important. This is how you like the live stream. Uh, Uno says, the three dots on the upper right-hand corner, press it, you'll see the like button. That's worth repeating. The three dots, uh, I've lost it. Where did it go? Oh my God. The three dots on the upper right, I don't know which is right. I'm assuming it's this way to you. Um, right hand corner, press it and you'll see the like button. I expect now, since Uno has so nicely told everybody how to like the live stream, I expect that 32 to just, there's two more right there, two more. Two more, where's the subscribe numbers? I wish I had that in front of me. I'm gonna pull that up. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see uh, if it makes any difference. I'm gonna look at subscribers. We started, we had 4, 41,966. We now have 41,983. Can we make it to 42,000 during this live stream? Can we do it? Is it possible? I don't know, but if you haven't yet, I'm gonna check. Has anybody else done it? No, 41,983 subscribers. That's what this channel has right now. I would love to see that number flip to 42,000 while we're on here. Anybody, anybody? Ah, we picked up two more. You guys are listening, I love it. We only need 15 more subscribers to get up to uh, 42. I would appreciate it, smash that subscribe button. And the likes, the likes have just gone up to 42. Man, I, I am feeling some love. You know what, I'm some love. I might even sing you a song. I'm not gonna sing you a song. But anyway, I do appreciate that. 41,984, somebody left. Isn't that nice? See that? That's the way YouTube is. All right, let's carry on. Uno, thank you for uh, telling everybody how to do that. The Watchman, my vehicle came equipped with a sunroof. I have never used it and I don't need it, but you paid for it, right? See, that's where the people on here <coughs> would say, <coughs> excuse me, the sport 
It used to come with a sunroof. They took that away from us. So what? I never use it. You don't use it. Uh, Brian Funk. Hey, Rob from Ottawa. How you doing? Thank you for joining. Eric says, greetings from Nebraska. Thank you. David Melendez. Hi, Rob. Here from uh, Carolina, Puerto Rico. Awesome. We get a lot of Puerto Rico people on here. Oh, we picked up another subscriber. We're back up to 41,985. We need 15 to get to 42,000. I mean, 15. I got 108 people on here. There must be 15 people who haven't subscribed yet. So click that button. Anyway, enough of that. Um, let's see. Uh, Uno says, David, my grandparents are from Yoko. Yoko. I'm sorry if I mispronounce it. Uh, I'm half Puerto Rican and half Panamanian. My mom still lives in Puerto Rico. Wow. Do you ever get to see her much? Do you make, does she come here? Or you go there? Or? Uh, Sammy says, so is the fourth gen better than the third gen? Absolutely. Better power, better engine for power. We'll find out if it's a better engine over time. Um, better transmission. The marrying of the transmission to the engine in the new Tacoma is just freaking awesome. By the way, we only need 13 more subscribers and we'll hit 42,000. I'm going to I'm going to continue to update you guys so you can, you know, enjoy the rise uh, with me. We need 13 more new subscribers. Um, yes, I, I would say it's much better. I like the tech in it, the dash, the gauge cluster. Oh my god, Toyota has finally stepped into the 21st century. Uh, it's awesome. I think it's awesome. Uh, Daz0711, hello from sunny Florida. What's the temperature in Florida today? It's 91 in Puerto Rico. Um, I'm not in Puerto Rico. Somebody just, you know, told me that. David Melendez, uh, that's, uh, that's what's up, Uno. Dos, uh, Jamie, Jamie Summers or Lindsay Wagner. There you go, the bionic woman. Um, what was the name of the guy? I don't know why we're on some $6 million man kick, but what was the name of uh, Steve Austin's friend, his boss? What was the name of his boss on the $6 million man? Anybody know that? It just popped into my mind. I don't know how I knew this, but I know it. Uh, Eddie Haskell, Karen. Nope, it's not Karen. The watchman said Jamie. You got it. It was Jamie. Um, user says V8 LS7 twin turbo swap your truck. Um, now that would probably cause me to pop wheelies, you know, driving down the road. Not something I would do, but it'd be cool. Axel, what's your opinion on the new Lexus GX? Greetings from the Philippines. I know nothing about it. So what's my opinion? I don't know. I have none. I'm not a Lexus guy, you know, so. Do Alex says, Lindsay Wagner. Lindsay Wagner. I think it was Jamie. Oh, Lindsay Wagner was the actress. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Andres Zach. Andres. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I apologize. Uh, second gens were 3.0, maybe 3.4. All right, so I obviously did not have a four liter in my second gen pre-runner. Uh, Kennedy, I know the Lee Majors thing, age dating myself here. What was his boss's name? This will tell me if you were a fan. Uh, Twitch, two Jay-Z in a Tacoma, Paco Ortega. I follow your videos. The surrounding of your home looks beautiful. A lot of trees. What state are you in? I am in Texas. Uh, I'm going to call you Zach because I just can't pronounce your first name. Uh, what about the first gen Tundra? A little bigger than the Taco, but smaller than the new gens. I'm not a big fan. Um, I, I think I like the current or the, the next gen Tundra, the bigger Tundra myself. Uh, you know, matter of preference, I guess. Esperanza Galantz, how is your transition? Uh, my transmission? Is that what you mean? I don't know what you mean, so you'll have to clarify. User, please swap a twin turbo LSX in that truck. It's not going to happen. Not going to happen. 3M Tapestry, follow me. Um, well, you know, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that off because it seems like you're here for the wrong reasons. Outside, first-gen Tundra is simple, reliable, and unbeatable. Yeah, they even had, I believe, the first-gen Tundra had a uh, steel timing chain, did it not? As opposed to a non-steel timing chain. Uh, the Red Hoods, uh, you're not bald, it's just thinning. What? Thinning? Where is it thinning? 
It might have moved up a little on the sides. I mean, you know, come on, I'm not 20 years old. Uh, let's see. <coughs> Manuel Vasquez, that's funny. My 21 was cement, four by four. Traded it for 2024 Tacoma uh, Underground and loving it. Yeah, that, that underground color uh, actually was my fourth choice on the Tacoma. Not a bad color at all, by any means. Let's check the subscriber numbers. 41,988, we need 12. 12 more people need to subscribe so we can hit 42,000. What's the significance of hitting 42,000? Absolutely nothing. I just would like to see the number roll. And wouldn't it be cool to do it uh, on the live stream? Wouldn't that be cool? 41,988. Um, let's see. Country Boy Chaos. That's smart. Zach. Beard Trimmer. Uh, no, that is not the device. I'm going to tell you in a second what I use. The Watchman. That's exactly the way I cut my hair as well. I'm not bald. But I told the barber just to leave a little bit of stubble on the top. That's right. That's right. That's all you need, man. And I like it. It feels good. It's nice and cool. Uh, I think it feels pretty good. Uh, let's see. Do Alex, a razor. No, no razor. Do Alex says that was my problem. There you go. Uh, Twitch says a knife. No, for God's sake. Who would use a knife? What do you think? I'm Rambo? I'm not Rambo. Uh, user, Manscaped 5.0 Ultra Weed, no, no. You know, what a, what a corny name it is. The, not the name, I guess, the, but the, the, the commercials for that stuff. So like, oh my God, I, I feel like if I had little kids, I'd have to now censor the commercials that they can watch. I mean, come on, man, have some class. Um, not you, I mean the commercials, you know. Uh, Kevin Doble, uh, I'm 30 years old. I can name every engine leader size in any and every vehicle I've ever owned. I can't subscribe if you can't remember second gen taco. <laughs> well, it's up to you. I can't make you subscribe, but I sure would appreciate if you click that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's move on. By the way, we just got another one. We're at 41,989. We need 11 more people to subscribe. Um, let's see, where was I? Uh, Flash Gordon says, showing the love. Um, <laughs> Kennedy, uh, I don't have a like button on mine. I did what you said, but it's not there. Uno, we need your help. She is like buttonless, like buttonless. Um, or he, I'm sorry. I don't know if Kennedy is male or female. Um, Crassy says, hey man, I wanted, uh, I wanted to know what you think about spacers. I was looking at some of them from KSP. You know, it's funny. When I did a recent mod on the 24 Tacoma here, I asked their wheel and tire expert, and this guy is very, very knowledgeable. I asked him, what do you think of wheel spacers? Because frankly, I like to get my wheels out a little, or my tires and wheels out a little bit more. And he said, no, they're no good. He said, the problem is in the torque. They have to be done exactly right. They have to be torqued right. You can't have anything back off. And if they do and you lose that wheel, <coughs> that's going to be catastrophic. I, I don't have a problem with them. I put them on a Tundra. I think I used, uh, I think they were inch. I think I put one inch wheel spacers on a, a Tundra I had. Great look for the truck. I never had any issues, but I didn't have them that long. So I may still do it. I don't know. I don't really have a problem, but you know, if you believe what you read on the internet, you shouldn't even think about it. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, DOS 0711, Oscar Goldman, Oscar Goldman. Steve Austin's boss, Steve Austin from the $6 million man, not the wrestler, no. That's awesome, you got it. Kimberly says, uh, hi, Kimberly, how you doing? Flash Gordon was planning on a uh, six foot bed <coughs> hybrid TRD Sport, but evidently the only hybrid to offer six foot bed is the Trail Hunter. Still considering the TRD Sport hybrid and five foot, do you ever miss having a six foot. I've never had a six foot bed on the Tacoma. And no, I wouldn't miss it. It's and for me, I mean, unless you're a contractor or something and you need that, 
I don't know why. Maybe you just like the look, though. I guess that's another thing. But for me, it's too long, uh, too much to move around. And is it going to fit in your garage if you garage it? You're going to want to park it outside? I mean, I don't know. Not for me. So, no. Casanova. Hello. Just gave the man 12 more people. Just give the man 12 more people. That's right. Let's have a report. What are we up to right now? 41,000. 991 we need nine more people nine more people to click that subscribe button um thank you i appreciate that excuse me justin campbell hello from utah sunny 63 degrees have you got the new wheels and tires yet can't tell from the picture on the video uh, i have and i have the truck is lifted i mean look how look how high look at this i'm sitting on a normal chair right Look how high this is. It's above my head. I mean, look at this. Isn't it awesome? I love it. Of course, you know, now I need a, a ladder to be able to reach in the hood. Um, but yes, I did. There is a video coming out on that. I'm not going to scoop myself. Um, you can probably see, yeah, you can see the tire there. I'll get out of the way a little bit. Um, so I'm not going to scoop myself. I didn't go crazy aggressive. I didn't go crazy big. I can go bigger down the road, which is what I like. If down the road I want to make another change and I want to maybe change the wheels and pop them out a little bit, go with a little bigger tire, we'll see. My big concern in having the turbo was putting too much uh, extra wear on the truck in the form of hauling around heavier tires, you know. So I went with something relatively modest. So, you know, uh, let's see. Uh, Kennedy says, uh, Richard Norman Anderson. Was that his name? I don't know his real name. Uh, I assume so. Andro F, is your truck a hybrid? No, you can't, uh, you can't get the hybrid yet. Uh, they're not out until, I keep hearing different things. You know, midsummer, early fall. Um, but Toyota has been pushing out more pictures recently, so maybe it's going to be sooner than later. By the way, we're at 41,991 subscribers. We need nine. Nine people to click that subscribe button to hit 42,000 during the live. So if you haven't, go ahead. Click that subscribe button. Um, I keep having to remind you. I know. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jose Ruiz. I hope I pronounced your name correctly, your last name. Uh, how is the gas mileage? The gas mileage. <clears throat> oh, man. It's like hyper-miling compared to the third gen. You know, in my third, we need seven more subscribers now. I'm going to show you guys. Let me cover this up. I can't show you everything. Uh, let's see. Can I show you this? I think so. There. See that? 41,993. We need seven more subscribers. We need six more subscribers to get to 42,000. Um, gas mileage, 18.3 or four miles per gallon and increasing. My third gen Tacoma was getting, uh, what was it getting? I think it was getting like 14.6, uh, 14.7. Maybe I could get up to 16 miles per gallon if I did some higher free, uh, speed or freeway driving. But for me, it was generally in the 14 to 15 mile per gallon range. So I'm getting three point odd some more miles per gallon in this truck than I was getting in my third gen. That is freaking awesome. We need five more subscribers now. I wasn't trying to turn this into a subscriber drive, but hey, you guys are helping me out. 41,995. We need five more people. Um, let's see. Where was I? Um, uh, Kennedy says, ha ha, miss, miss. Okay, I see your picture now. I apologize. Um, I couldn't see your picture before. I just didn't look, I guess. It's kind of dark. Um, but I apologize, Ms. Kennedy. Um, Buck says, does the new Tacoma hybrid come with a turbo? Of course it does. Of course it does. It's too bad it doesn't come with two turbos. Um, and that was a big rumor when the Tacoma was first announced, everybody was, uh, 
guessing we need two more subscribers. We're at 41,998. Wow. Um, that was the big thing. Everybody was trying to guess or saying that it was going to be a twin turbo. Uh, it's not. It's a single turbo. Would be nice. I'd love to see a twin turbo in it. That, that might be better than dropping a V8 in it, if I'm being honest. Put a twin turbo on this truck. Wow, that would be cool. Uh, James Brace, what is the life expectancy of the starter on these Toyotas equipped with the stop-start feature? Supposedly, they put a, uh, a uh, what do they call it, more heavy-duty uh, starter on them uh, to compensate for the constant stop-starting if you use it. Uh, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't know what the life uh, expectancy is, but, you know, I hate that feature. Eddie Haskell, when I start my truck, I hit the stop start button right away. I wish I could remember. I need to put like a sign in my truck, big red letters or something that says, hit the stop start button, doofus, you know, doofus. But I never remember. I don't know. Uh, JG, I got a trail edition Tacoma and then they decided to get ready to launch the trail hunter. Can't even build a trail edition. I know, doesn't it suck when they do that? You get something and all of a sudden they put something else out and you're like, oh man, oh, wait a minute. We have, wait a minute. That's for you guys. Why? Why? I'm going to show you why. Do you see that? 42,002 new sub or subscribers. Let's keep going, man. Can we get to 43,000? I'd be shocked if that happened, but... Thank you very much. You guys did it. You guys got me over 42,000 subscribers. Wow, 42,003. We're on a roll here, man. You know, my, my goal, I'm gonna tell you my goal right now. 50,000 is my goal. Now, I don't expect to hit 50,000 on this live stream, but my God, wouldn't that be awesome? 50,000 is my goal. You guys just got me a little closer. 42,004 subscribers. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Let's get back to the comments. Wow. Um, <coughs> I'm all choked up. Uh, let's see. Uh, JG says, people hated on me getting it, but the pre-lift and the rear differential was legit. Awesome. JG, if I got a 4x4, the lift would have uh, been around $4,000. I put a lift and it was originally priced at 4,000 is right, 39.99. Now that include 39.95. That includes the lift, the labor, the wheels, the tires, the balancing. You can't beat that, man. 39.95 lift, wheels, tires, labor, balancing. Oh, and alignment. I forgot about alignment. For God's sake, alignment and Toyota factory warranty installed by Toyota. Wow, 42,003, somebody left. What the heck? 42,003 subscribers, let's keep it going. Can we get to 42,010? You guys are awesome, wow. Um, Lenny Davis, I got a Nissan Leaf. If bad ass, it blew up and that's how bad it is. Ooh, yeah, they were having problems with the Leaf, I think. Mike Mikado, by the way, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you guys, since you've been so nice to me and getting me over 42,000 subscribers, I'm gonna give you a quick shot of a new vehicle we have here at Rob Motive Enterprises. I just made that up. You ready? It's gonna be a quick flash. I wanna know if anybody can guess, and if you guessed last time and you already know what this is, please don't give it away. Don't give it away, because you already know. But here it is, if you can guess what this is, ready? I know it was pretty quick, um, but nobody knows other than maybe some people on the last live stream. So I'll tell you what, if we get to 42,010, uh, 20, I got to make it worthwhile. Come on. 42,020 subscribers. I will tell you what that vehicle, I'm going to flash it for you one more time. I will tell you what this is. Ready? There you go. I will tell you what that is. I'm not going to, I'm not going to confirm it. Unless we get the 42,020, we got 42,003 and 116 people on here. We're up to 54 likes now. You guys are, are crushing it today, man. Uh, let's get on with it here. Let's see. Uh, Mike Mikado says, some people get robbed of 42,000. They did. 
They did. Now I'd like to get to 42,020. I know this guy just keeps asking, right? I know, I know. But I'm gonna tell you what that car is. If uh, I'm gonna confirm it or tell you what it is, you probably already know. I mean, come on. I, you got you car guys are gonna know. And I mean, you know. Um, let's see. Lenny Davis says, Toyota Rav, I see them all over the highways, stalled all day. <laughs> oh, bummer, man. Uh, no, it's not a Rav. Uh, Lenny Davis, I've seen six last week. Good, they're starting to get out there in the world. I know people are starting to see them, so they are uh, starting to propagate for sure. JG, still surprised that Toyota is scrapping the Trail Edition. Rumors have it, so I don't know if my Trail Edition in Lunar Rock will be a rarity. It probably will. And how long did they have that version out? I mean, it really wasn't that long, was it? Uh, Walter, uh, what I miss is your Voodoo Blue Tacoma. Did the new tacos come in that color? I know. That's the best color ever. Voodoo Blue. You guys can see it right there. Best color ever, in my opinion. And no, they do not. Um, cannabis Outdoors. What do you think of the Nissan Xterra? Eh, eh. It's not really for me. It's not my thing. Uh, JG, yeah, it was bull. The trail was supposed to come out before 2022, but <laughs> this pandemic, yeah. Uh, Paul Harris, congratulations, Rob. Thank you, Paul. We're now at 42,003. We've hit a roadblock. We've hit a roadblock. We were doing a little bit of a subscriber drive, I guess, but I still do appreciate it. Getting me over 42,000, you guys are freaking awesome. I'd like to hit 4220. Uh, 42,020, and I'll tell you what that car is over there, um, or I'll confirm it, whichever it is. Uh, let's see. Michael Jones, M. Jones, do you have any fevers? Fevers? On the first year of Tacoma, I have a, what? I have a 2016 Tacoma, so many problems. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm not really sure what you're asking there, honestly. Walter, I'm glad you hit 42,000 subs. Nice. Yeah, me too. I mean, I'm humbled every day I look at those numbers. 42,000 people. That's like, a, that's like a stadium. Small, but a stadium. To me, a basketball game, right? That's like an Indiana basketball game. Don't they draw like, that's probably bigger than that. Maybe three or four basketball games. I don't know, but it's, it's freaking awesome. Um... Paul Ballou, will the rubber mat from the third gen fit the new Tacoma? I just put a deposit on the 2024. No, it will not. The wheel wells are different, and the tie downs in the, the front, back, back of the uh, Tacoma are different. You can cut them out, which is what I did. I have a video on that. I think it's aired. It may not have even aired yet, but no, it, it won't fit. All right, Paul says, the bed man, I get it. Brian Funk says, congrats on 42,000, Rob. Brian, thank you very much. We now are at 42,004. We have 16 to go, and I'm going to confirm, or I'm going to spill the beans on what that new car is sitting over there. Uh, Walter says, it's a Tesla, question uh, mark. Cannabis Outdoors says, ZX3. Uh, funny guy makes you laugh, says... I'm live. Well, I'm glad you're alive because the alternative is not good. And honestly, it would be kind of creepy if you were not alive, but you were commenting on my live stream. I mean, that'd be kind of weird, it wouldn't it? Um, JBBS says Tes Tesla. By the way, is it Tesla or Tesla? How do you guys pronounce it? Number one, Tesla or number two, Tesla? I'd just be curious to know. Uh, Walter says, hmm. I wonder. Uh, Eddie Haskell says RAV4. Uh, True Flat says Tesla. Tesla. Freddie T says Subaru. Uh, Walter says, I've never been in one, but the acceleration on those is crazy. Kudos to Elon Musk. I've driven two different Teslas. Um, I've driven three different Teslas. The Model S, which is like lightning. Uh, the Model Y, which is like lightning and the Model 3, which is like lightning. I mean, they all are awesome. Um, Jonathan James, four-cylinder turbo, big mistake. The heat will shorten the engine life, especially on a little four-banger. <clears throat> That's the big concern. That's probably the biggest concern that I hear about the new Tacoma is the four-cylinder uh, 
uh, turbo. So we shall see. I don't know. Siziant uh, says uh, Ascent. No. Uh, Kevin, Rob, seen a few 24s in town. Not sure if I'm sold on the new look. You don't have to get used to it, but it's like uh, when they change anything that we're used to, right? You got to get used to it. By the way, if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. We're trying to get up to 42,020. We have 42,004 right now. The difference would be 16. Um, let's see. Chad Cronaut says, sorry for the silence. Just grilling on the grill. We got steaks and burgers. Chad, oh my God. I'm hungry. It's almost 1230. I'm going to eat lunch after this. Uh, that sounds fantastic. And it's okay. I'm just glad you're here at all. Uh, Paul says DeSoto. No, I'll, I will tell you that's not it. Kennedy, uh, here is, here's my like since I can't find a button. Thank you, Kennedy. Comments help too. I mean, comments show, the, show YouTube that the live stream is being interacted with and they like that. So thank you very much. Uh, Charlie, GC2, what do you call the color on the new car? I like it. Blue. It's blue. There is another name. It's like metallic blue or I don't know, but blue. Um, <coughs> let's see. I do not know what that means. Uh, refereg, gag, gag, gag. So I've, I've got to remove the comment. We need to be in English so I know what's being said. I'm sorry. Michael Jones, on the first year, uh, on the first year, these Tacomas coming. Robert Hannaford, does an Impala go faster than a Jaguar uh, when a Jaguar is behind it? Very creative. I don't know. Uh, Kennedy says, Dose, Walter, would you ever buy a Dodge Hellcat? I would love to have a Dodge Hell Hellcat, but no. Uh, probably not. The days of those kind of cars for me are really are over. I'm really, I am, I am a car slash truck guy. I mean, I like both. I wouldn't. I wouldn't pigeonhole myself into either bucket. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Francisco Aguiar. Scary to think how appetizing the hybrid wires are. are the hybrid wires and such will be on these new trucks to rodents out in the wilderness. Higher chance of getting stranded overnight. That would suck. Uh, AB Tacoma TRD off-road in white. Hey, if you like white, that's cool. Wait a minute, Paul Harris. A $25 uh, super chat, I guess. Do they still call these super chats? Anyway, Paul, thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Can I can even give you a like myself. You see that? I just gave you a like. We got three likes on that. Awesome. Paul, thank you very much. Uh, every little bit helps. You know, mods aren't cheap, and neither is the food that needs to go in here to keep me modding. <laughs> Uh, but thank you, Paul. I really appreciate that, man. Um, that's just awesome. Uh, a, B, Tacoma. I read that. Walter, how much does the taco weigh? Um, I don't know exactly. I haven't really checked myself. David Cunningham, Lindsay Wagner. You're right. That's the bionic woman. Uh, Henry O'Malley, have you ever let an m, &M Now, here we have another one. You see, at this point, we're getting uh, some ridiculous things. I don't know. But we took care of that comment. Anyway, we've been on here for almost an hour. I'm going to call it a day. Go get myself something to eat. Paul, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate that. Chad, thanks for the channel membership. And all the rest of you, thanks for clicking that subscribe button to get me over 40,000. We're now at 42,004. I really do appreciate it. And anybody who watches this uh, after the fact, um, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. My ultimate goal is 50,000. Have a great rest of the weekend. Stay safe out there and we'll see you next time on the web. Bye.